So I'm gonna go ahead and show their cards real quick, just so we can see what they're up against. So I think Link actually just got a PB today, at the time of 1838, which is a great time. Um, 14th best in the world, actually. And then Eddie Source has a best time of 42 minutes. So, very clear difference in that end. Uh, Link Roller, I think, is in pot C. Wow, he's in pot C with a best time of that. So, obviously, the pot uh, ranking cutoffs was before this. Before he got that PB, so it is. Uh, I think he probably would have been pot B if he had that PB start at the start of the tournament. So even though Link Ruler is a pot C contestant, I think he's still a pretty strong opponent. Uh, I think in the exhibition race he proved himself against Yoshimitsu, um, who is a pot B racer. Who is the pot A in their group? So pot A in their group is Buddy. That, that's a crazy group to be in. That, that's a crazy... Eddie's definitely got his competition cut out for him being in this group. And not having a run completed over the or under the 40 minute mark uh, is going to be a real saying for the kind of competition that Eddie will be putting up against Link here. Now, personal best doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, especially in a game like Spelunky. Um, it's more consistency overall, but when when your personal best is twice as fast as your opponent's personal best, it's looking way better in your favor. I think Link is just a more practiced opponent with a lot more hours to his name. I've seen Eddie around Twitch chats and hanging around the Discord and just being a part of the Splunky community, but um, I can't say I've ever really seen him play myself. And from what it looks like, he's trying to play it nice and slow, being a strategy probably to just not die. And when you get to the higher level play, you sort of learn how to go fast without dying, at least most of the time. <laughs> but, you know, to the average Splunky player, I think Eddie is doing great. Uh, and you look at Link, you can already kind of see there's a clear distinction between the platforming. There's a lot of stopping for Eddie, whereas Link kind of just dives right into everything. Um, he knows when and where, like when he can do the drops and how to handle the enemies quickly. Oh wow. 
so Link just got a jetpack teleporter shop on the 10k split. That's actually, that's a good split to get a jetpack on, um, and teleporter, because you can go straight into the jungle with it, and it can actually end up being really, really fast that way. That's not to say that uh, it's always the best idea to take the teleporter. You could just as easily end up dying using it. So Link has enough money to move on through to the jungle, and he'll be done with the mind splits. Eddie is on one dash two of the mines, just collecting his money. He's also on uh, the 10k split, so he's not that far behind. But I think. Uh, if all goes well with this teleporter for Link, that he could be a sizable distance ahead at the end of this. Ooh. So, Link just got hit by a uh, boomerang man, because when you teleport into them, they still decide to hit you. And down goes Link at 2-3. That's going to give Eddie a little bit of time to catch up. But that was a good attempt using the teleporter. Uh, gotta give kudos to Link on that one. Eddie's only got one more level to go through until he's done with this 10k split. He's gotta be careful though, because he only has one health left. And he still doesn't have enough money to actually get in, but now he does. Ooh! Eddie gets hit by a rogue spider on the last level. He just had a little bit to go left of that level. It's so frustrating. Yeah, Link on the other hand is attempting to get the bomb split back in. Where he unable to do so with the teleporter earlier. Moving quickly on through the jungle, he's just got one more level to go here, and he has one health left on this rushing water level with bees. It's gonna be annoying to get over there, but he does it. Taking care of that last bee and dodging some of those piranhas, he was able to get through there. Ooh, I think, uh, I think I just saw Eddie dupe that gold stack. <coughs> Excuse me. So that'll help him get a little extra money towards the 10k split. And with 2,000 gold left to go, he enters the last level in the mines. Link is just booking it through the jungle. He has ropes. And he wants to give them to Tunnel Man very badly. It looked like a tough spot for Link there. There were spikes in it. Pre-triggered Tiki Trap. He almost bit the bullet there, but um, managed to get through it unscathed. I'm a little surprised with that one, but it's good for him. He is moving on to the shotgun split now. Now hopefully he has better luck than Stu and I. The, the shotgun split really showed us who was boss. It showed us who was in charge. It was not us. Eddie continues to move through the jungle. He's made it. He's turned in that 10k split. He's only got this level and one more level in the jungle. Before uh, he turns in those bombs. So at this point, 
Eddie is about two whole splits behind. And taking fall damage to his death right at the end there. Shame for Eddie. I think for his PB, he's still on pretty good pace, though. Wow. Link just jumps onto a snail that is in between two spikes. Manages to stay away from the spikes and stay alive. I'm kind of impressed. I think Link um, honestly deserves to be in a higher pot than the one he was put in. Um, I'm not sure if he just didn't do a lot of ASO before this tournament or what, but... You know, as I say that though, he's, he died. <laughs> From what happened was he shot the shotgun, which recoiled him backwards into the tiki trap. So that's not really recommended. Yeah, Kurt, or uh, oh my god, Groomp. Um, there's one more race after that, which, uh, after this one, which is Link versus Yoshi. Should start at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So, um, you know, if one of these players is continuing going uh, past 9 p.m., I'm gonna have to switch them off to move to the other race. But well, we started this at 8.30, so 30 minutes should be enough for at least one of them to finish. And, yeah, Link is still looking for a shotgun here. He died with it on 2-4 earlier. So... He's gotta hope that it's in this 2-4, otherwise he's gonna have to start the jungle all over again. And we're gonna have another... <laughs> More people that are very, very angry with the shotgun split. And there you have it. He's restarting the jungle. Eddie is still behind. But he's not that far behind at this point. He, um... I don't know what he's doing here. I think he's afraid of that man trap. Oh, and a spider just jumped. Man, those spiders are being rude to Eddie today. Anyways, for Eddie's PB, I think he's still doing pretty well. I'm hoping to see an Eddie PB at least tonight. So that would be awesome. Now Link is still looking for that shotgun. He's going into 2-4 yet again. Oh, you're right. The streams are just a little unsynced. My bad. Here, I'll sync them up real quick. It's hard for me to see Link's time. Yeah, they should be a little more synced now. At least close to it. Okay. Anyways. Link is entering a black market. He'll definitely find a shotgun here. 
He's on 2-2, and Eddie has turned in the rope split in jungle. Now he's on the shotgun split. So they're just about tied. So I think Eddie's gonna hope that the shotgun split goes well for him. And that would be really nice, because shotgun split has been pretty mean to Link so far. And we just saw a mean shotgun split to Stu earlier uh, today. But well, he's entering 2-3, no shotgun in sight yet. And it doesn't look like there's one on 2-3, so he's gonna have to hope it's on this next level. And, oh! There you have it, there is a shotgun on this level for Edisaurus. Not only that, it is a jetpack shop which can really, really help with getting triple delivery. However, he doesn't have bombs, and he messes up the robbery too. Well, that's a shame. Well, that's okay. I think, or Eddie has a dead or restless now, so he can get a shotgun without aggro if he's able to find the ash grave. And there it is. I think Link forgot to take a shotgun exiting the black market, so he's got to kill this, this shopkeeper right here. And there you go. He manages to stomp on his head, steal a shotgun. Link has, um, he has a cape and he has the onk. And how many bombs he has? He has six bombs, six ropes. So he's in a good position to actually do a double delivery, especially since he has, or triple delivery, sorry. Especially since he also has climbing gloves, so he has a lot of mobility here. Finally for Link, he is turning in that shotgun split. Eddie is honestly not that far behind. So, uh, just got two more levels, including this one he's just exiting now. Before he is on the same split as Link. Now I don't know if Link will go for the triple delivery. My guess is he's going to at least try, because he has the onk, so why not? And Eddie has turned in his shotgun. He's resetting so that he can get all his health back. He was really only down one bomb, so he could have finished the ice caves, but I think he was a little worried about his health. And he resets again because he doesn't want to do a wet for a little. That might be smart. And Link here is trying to get into the mothership. He's gonna use one last bomb to try and blast through that wall. And there he goes. Moving into the mothership, turning in those three bombs. So he's going into the mothership with aggro. He's only got one bomb to spare to use against Shopkeeper or whatever else he needs to use against. So we'll see how the Mothership treats him. But he does have the Ankh, so you know, if things go terrible here for him, he'll still be okay. Eddie's got another uh, wet fur level here. And he actually makes it through pretty unscathed. Nice job, Eddie. This mothership's taking up quite a lot of Link's time. Oh, Eddie was gonna try and go through the mothership. I think he realized uh, that he can't without using another bomb. So. It's a good thing he realized. So he's turned in those bombs now. I think he's gonna reset. There you go. And 
as we speak, Link is moving into the final exit of the ice caves after doing a triple delivery. Kind of making up for that horrible shotgun split. And meanwhile, Eddie's just... All Eddie needs to do to be in the same spot as Link is to finish the ice caves one last time with three ropes. So... Uh, Link clearly has the advantage right now. He's in the lead with the key split, but uh, if he doesn't manage, if he manages to die with the key, uh, we could easily see Eddie catch up. Well, Eddie, on the other hand, is actually in a really, really good spot to PB. His PB is currently over 40 minutes, just over 40 minutes. So. We could, we could see him get, uh, probably around a 30 minute time. Now wouldn't that be something? A 10 minute PB. <laughs> Eddie's just got this one last Ice Caves level to complete. And there you have it, he is on the key split now. Link just had a dark level to traverse and look for the key. It's possible. I don't know if he really searched it thoroughly. Ah, but the key is actually right up there, so it's not a big deal. I didn't know if he checked the whole dark level, but... It looks like he's doing just fine. He found the key. Misplaces a bomb there, but he, he found some, so he's got plenty to spare. Oh, I'm being told the key can't be in a dark level. I didn't know that. That's news to me, honestly. Is that I, is that true? That that really surprised me. Um. All right. Well, Eddie has found the level that the key is on. He falls down, takes some fall damage. But it lands right next to the key on 1 2. He's gotta be careful of his health though. He's only got one left. One more mistake will be fatal for Eddie here. Meanwhile, Link is sitting pretty with his health. He's at 4. So there's room for mistakes here for Link. And he also has a cape and climbing gloves, so. I think he's in a good spot. Now he's got a weird shopkeeper issue here, but he manages to get past it. Going through the key split with aggro is annoying. Especially he doesn't have that many bombs to fight them with, so you just kinda kinda have to maneuver around them and hope that he goes over top the exits just like he did there. Eddie has died, so he has to restart. But at this point, oh, he found the level with the key on it, Eddie. He just has to figure out where exactly the key is. So Link is down to two health. I'm not, I didn't see what made him take some damage. But he's got some pretty tricky exits here. And now he only has one bomb left. But, he's into the ice caves. And with the cape, that makes the ice caves way easier. He probably doesn't need any bombs in the ice caves because the shopkeepers will just jump off into the abyss. So, that'll help him out. Eddie is resetting yet again on the key split. At this point, it is looking like it is Link's game. All he has to do to really start sealing the deal is he's got to make it through the rest of the ice caves without dying. Which, anything can happen. Some random crap can happen, so 
We'll just have to see what happens here. And it looks like he's gonna go through the mothership to be a little safer. And there you go, he is done with the key split. He's gonna reset here so he gets his bombs and health back. Eddie is robbing a teleporter shop for some reason. Probably just wants to have some fun with it. And he's on the level with the key, so he's just gotta find it and he's dead. <laughs> Meanwhile, Link is on the temple. He's got to make it through a few of these levels here. Before he fights Olmec. Ouch, this is a weird temple layout. Um, wow, that is a really weird temple layout. But Link makes it through there. He had to use a few ropes, but he still has two. And you only really need one for Olmec, it just helps to have some more in case there's a lot of spawns. And he's on a dark level in the temple. It's a shame that Eddie wasn't able to maintain the key throughout his first life, because he'd probably be getting into the temple about now, and it'd be a really close race. Now Link has made it through the dark temple level, and on to Olmec. Can you imagine if Olmec could be dark? That would be crazy. So it looks like Link is going to go for a not safe strat, but it's consistent enough that it should be fine. He's only got one rope left. He's gotta use it now. I don't know if he can make it to the other side. Oh, he might be able to if he uses his bombs, which is what looks like what he's trying to do. He's only got two more tries to really get it right. Oh no. He's got one try to make this a staircase. Aww. Oh. He's not going to be able to make it up there. <laughs> Eddie is back to 1 1 again. That's a real shame for Link. And Eddie's got a pretty nice key spawn right there. I think what Eddie should do at this point is just play it safe. Um, as safe as he can. Doesn't really matter how fast he goes. And just hope that Link keeps having mistakes on the temple or only. And Link takes an arrow. Not enough to take him out, though. Link is getting some rough temple levels, though, I'll have to say. Eddie is robbing the shop for some reason. I guess he wanted the cape. But I don't know if getting aggro for Eddie is really the best choice. 
Link is down on Olmec yet again. As Eddie is moving into the jungle with the key. He has some pretty good mobility. If he's able to make it through the shot or the jungle, I think Eddie could do good. But again, he's got to hope that Link keeps screwing up in the temple or on Olmec. Otherwise, it's all going to do nothing. I have to say, though, I feel like Eddie's put up a better fight than most people thought he could. And it, it looks like he's on track to get still get a pretty nice PB, so... Um, I might just leave him on while Yoshi and Link get set up. I know Link's already set up, but... I'll leave him on and see uh, what kind of time he gets. Oh, and Eddie is down. That's a real shame. Wow. I'm not sure why Link decided to not use a rope there, but I guess it worked out for him. Okay, so Jake's actually set up. Um, and I would have kept Eddie on if he was still alive on that one key split run, but I think I'm going to switch him over. Sorry, Eddie. We've got another race to start. So, good job to Link on taking that win there. Well played, Eddie. Link gets the sapphire under his name. But good game, guys. Alright, so we're gonna switch this up to Link versus Yoshimitsu. AKA Jake Yoshimitsu.